Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to repeat the PoE number from this PoE NVR 1000 feet for the IP cameras. Usually we can use the PoE standard to repeat the PoE. One PoE is standard can supply 328 feet. So if we need 1000 long distance, we need to daisy chain two PoE is standard in within this cable. But in this video, I'm going to use this continue round. This is 1000 feet continue round. We don't need to daisy chain anything at the middle of the cable. We are going to place this two PoE standard both ends. Okay, now let's get started. The first thing to know is for the first PoE standard, we need to flick the input and output. We got the input and output. Now this is A is input. Now I need to flick. Otherwise, it's not going to work. For the second one, there's no need to flit. And okay, now first let me take off the grant. I'm going to use the short punch code, like uh, this one, to link the, the output. The output, remember this is the output. And to the one of the port, now let's take the first port. And then connect the input to the cable. Okay. That's good for the first one. Now let's just move to the camera end. Also take off the grant. We maintain the input, so inventory the input will face the input. Okay, I need another short punch code. So lean the output to the camera. And now let's connect the input So inventory, we got both input, face input. Let's just wait for a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. Now I can see the live video. It will take a while because the camera is motorized zoom camera. It needs to zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus. It's still fine. I think getting video, that means it's work. Let's just get some challenge. I would like to add another 500 feet. Totally, now we got 1,500 feet. Let's see whether it's working or not. So I also need some accessory. This is, this is coupler. It's nothing but just connect these two rows of cable together. We got 1,500 feet. Okay, I think now it's live video is moving. Let's just remove it. Let me just remove. Okay, now connect to this coupler. And let me find the one end of the cable. Connect and I the end to this second PoE standard. Let's just wait for a moment because the camera needs to reboot before we can see the live video on the monitor. Let's see, let's just wait. Need to make sure the connection is okay. I see we are seeing the live video now. It seems we have no problem with the power and the, also the data. But I would like to run, I think that's one thing we need to concern. You see, we are using about five ton, it totally 1,500 feet. Usually for the standard TCP IP, it's just about 300 feet. So we are using the five ton Ethernet cable to send the data and the, for the camera. But we, we do know the, there are always power loss during the PoE transmission. The longer the distance, the more power loss will be. Let's see if there's any problem. Let's see, just wait until the, I think it's stable right now. Let me just force the camera to turn on the infrared. You, you know, when the infrared is on, we are going to have, it's going to draw much more power from the PoE NVR. When the power, the currency draw up, it will have more power loss. Let's see what will happen. Just force the camera to turn on the infrared. Okay, we see the problem. Now, when the infrared is on, I put my hand in front of the camera, it will just force the infrared to turn on. Now the camera just reboot. The reason is simple, because the power is not enough. There's too much power loss during the transmission. Okay, in this case, I can use this four pair power solution. For the standard PoE or PoE Plus, only two half of the cable is used to send the power. But when we use the latest PoE standard, like the PoE++, all the four twist pair will be used to send the power. I'm going to put this PoE injector before this, I mean in front of this PoE port. So this PoE injector is going to send the power. 
And this port is not, it's not going to send that power, it's just supply the data. Okay, first thing, just power this PoE extend. And now I need more short punch code. I'm going to use two punch punch code. The first punch code, I'm going to link this PoE injector, the data port, to the port number one. That means now we have data exchange between the PoE injector and also the PoE NVR. Now I got the PoE output. In this solution, you can see the PoE injector. We getting we have the data exchange with the PoE NVR, and the power part is taken care of by this new PoE injector. Let's just wait for a while. I think we need to wait for a while before we can see the last video. Okay, let's just wait. And let me, okay, I think the camera's live now. We need to just wait until the image becomes stable, then we can have the same test, force the camera to turn on the infrared. Okay, as you can see, let, let's just force the cameras. I think the infrared's on. You can now, yes, it's, it's on. But still okay, now it's become black and white. That means the infrared's on, but it's still working. The reason is this new PO injector is going to take all the four twist pair, all the pair to send the power and data. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.